your lives here in India? Oh, day one was very good. It was above our expectation. Because normally, as you know, the show start a little bit slowly and then are taking off later on. But the first day, as I said already, it was above our expectation. Approximately 25% more customers than we expected. Okay, so what are your expectations from Bollywood? In that case, I would also like to ask you, how is the Indian market faring as of now? So the Indian market for lights, India, it's a very uh, important market, not just for lights, India, but for lights. Because if you look into approximately the Indian customers or the Indian people invest 5 euro per, uh, per person per year into furniture. The average in the world is 40 euro. So it is eight times. And if you imagine 1.3 billion people doing this upgrade, so it's a huge potential. And therefore, it is very important for us that we have a proper setup here in India. And Lights India has a proper setup. We are where the customers are. Okay, talking about that, how is the demand of made in Europe technology shared in India? Yeah, made in Europe, that is, that's a big word, but you are definitely right. Me as president of the Yumabwa, I underline three times made in Europe. In Europe, we are developing the technologies, so the drivers are sitting in, uh, in Europe. But these technologies are also very important for, cust uh, for customers all over the world. So we are bringing out, during the exhibitions like the Daily Wood or the India Wood, we are spreading in India exactly this technology. And we have a lot of technologies, not just for the furniture industry, also for the window, for the door industry, for fiber cement industry. And that's a big advantage of lights that we are covering all the industries which are um, wood related but also in some other advanced materials. Talking about that, what role does price play in your bank today? The price, uh, pricing is always an issue. For sure, we know that lights is not the cheapest in the market. We don't want to be the cheapest, but we want to give the customer a value for their, uh, for their money. And that's very important. Honestly speaking, very often customers are going in and say, oh, your price are higher. And it must be higher, because if we are giving them two, three or four times the lifetime of the tooling, but only charge double the price, I think it is worthwhile the investment. And that's very, very important. And this we want to explain to the customer. And therefore the show here is so important to convey the message, can you really afford to buy cheap tools? Because the tools are preparing the quality on the workpiece. And that's very important. And it has been almost 18 years that lives is there in India. How has the market grown over the years? Yeah, the, the market really developed because in my past, I'm coming now to India since 1994, so quite some time, yeah, and I saw India changing, yeah, from a more manual-driven woodworking industry into a more machine-based machine uh, industry, and, and these steps are very important in order to bring up quality of the furniture, in order to bring up also the productivity and for sure there are the next steps to come when automation will be increased also in India. However, presently we are in the status where machines are playing a more important role and machines are only as good as the tooling what you what you use on the machines. Talking to talking about automation, I am uh, like just about to ask you this question. Like, what about bringing in Industry 4.0 technologies here in India? And what does that mean to the tooling industry? Industry 4.0 is one of the best marketing um, term which we ever developed in Germany. Because since long time, everybody is looking into. Uh, intelligence and intelligent processes, intelligent production. However, 
Once we are looking into Industry 4.0, this is connectivity, this is interaction between the machine and the operator, it's interaction between many machines, and there automatically there are solutions also which apply that for the tooling. 1993, Lights had the first intelligent tooling where we had already chips in, having the most important tooling information available. It goes without saying that we are also pushing this, not only for the process at the customer, that the customer has all the data available, but also in our resharpening center, that we know how to get the best quality out of the tooling by having exactly the right operation for resharpening, for example. So, Industry 4.0, it's a great term and a big term, but you can see already in India, in lights, you can already see solutions. Thank you. I would like to ask you once again about the razor car saw plate that we are talking about for the post lamp board. So, if you can tell us about the main features of the razor car saw plate. Yeah, the razor cut. That's, that's an interesting question because we are promoting the razor cut very, uh, very aggressively here. Why so aggressively? Because we see at our customers very often the problem that they try to cut with a standard saw blade, some material, and they are disappointed about the quality. Therefore we said we have to bring the razor cut which giving an excellent quality at a fair price and a very high productivity to the customer and therefore we are promoting it during this show so strongly because I say the Indian customers cannot afford not to have razor cut because this is giving them the quality which their final customers are looking at. Okay. Thank you so much Mr. Koppel for your time and I hope to see you during Ligna once again. Thank you very much for the interview. As always, it was a great pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.